All right, guys, Delzinski here, and oh boy, it's been a big old day when it comes to WWE 2K15, because IGN gave us our first look at the game, and there it is in all its glory. Even I can appreciate this version of John Cena. It looks phenomenal. Visual concepts have done a hell of a job on the next-gen console, and if this is a sign of things to come, I can't wait to see what's next. Now, this visual, I'm going to cover this in more detail in another video, but what I want to talk about right now is the limited edition for this year's game. And this year, it is the Hulkamania edition. There it is, people, for all your glory. It is a big old pack. You get a lot of stuff here, a lot of goodies involved, and I'm going to give you a bit of a breakdown of what you get. Now, first of all, this is priced at $99.99, so I think the equivalent is round about maybe 75, 80 quid in the UK. Um, I think that's about right, but it, it's pretty expensive. I'm not going to lie. It is a bit pricey, but it's very comprehensive. So let's give you a breakdown of what you get. You get a copy, of course, of WWE 2K15 for Xbox One or PlayStation 4. You get the premium packaging. I mean, it's not as great, possibly, as last year where they had the tin case for the uh, casket of The Undertaker. But I think it's pretty nice with Hulk Hogan ripping the shirt open. I kind of like that look and I like the packaging itself. As well, you get the collectible art um, artwork from Hulk Hogan, which is signed by the Hulkster himself. That's always a collector's piece, a very, very nice touch from 2K to add. As well, this one's kind of weird. You get an exclusive Funko Hollywood Hulk Hogan vinyl figure. Hmm, yeah. I mean, if this is exclusive, and you only get this in this pack, and that is it. I mean, literally, once they've sold these, that is all. Then, yes, this is quite a nice collectible to have. If this is going to go on sale later on, then, meh, I'm not really that bothered about it. As well, and this, this is the big one, because for me, this is what really intrigues me and wants me to go and pre-order this, is the actual ring canvas piece from Hulk Hogan on Monday Night Raw's appearance on the 10th of March 2014. Yes, you get a piece of history here with Hulk Hogan where he stood in that ring. You get a piece of that canvas. I think that is a great touch from 2K. And, you know, that is the piece that possibly would make me pre-order this. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of debating about it at the moment. I'm not sure because it is a bit pricey, but that really draws me in to go and pre-order this. Now on top of that as well because we're not done yet, you get two playable pre-order characters of Hulk Hogan. You get in the Hollywood version and you get in the the original version, the Hulkamania version of Hulk Hogan. And as well, when not done yet, you get two playable pre-order versions of Sting. You get the Crow version and you get the Surfer version. This is a massive pack. I mean, yes, it's pricey, but there's a lot of good stuff in there. I like the fact, I mean, the standout points for me, obviously, the autograph from Hulk Hogan. That is second to none. I really like that. You get a lot of pre-order content. I mean... You get it for pre-ordering Sting anyway, but you get two versions of Hulk Hogan, so that's four pre-order content. That's pretty decent. On top of that as well, and it's the big draw for me, it's the piece of history with the ring canvas that Hulk Hogan stood in. That is the one. And that is the one. And obviously as well, you get WWE 2K15 in there as well. Can't forget that. So that is a huge pack. Now, I like it. A lot of people are saying, meh, it's not quite as good as last year. So let's take a look at last year, WWE 2K14. And this is what we got. We got The Undertaker, the Phenom Edition. And what you got with this was a copy of WWE 2K14. You got The Ultimate Warrior as pre-order bonus content. You got the Tin Coffin, which was very nice. The packaging was really good for this pre-order. As well, you got the collectible art card, just the same as this year with Hogan's autograph. You got the Undertaker's autograph. 
As well, you got the exclusive playable character of the American Badass. And you got, this is something, again, kind of nah, not really fussed about. It's a bit like the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Funko. Uh, this, in, in this pack, you got the, the sticker controller. I kind of think the Funko is better than that, to be honest. But yeah, you got that as well. And last but not least, um, you got the Streak Disc 1 on DVD. They could have just given you the whole, the whole version of the Streak, couldn't they, with that? Not just one disc. That's a bit disappointing. Um, but but this was the pack from last year. And, and when I break it down and have a look at it, I kind of think that the Hogan version is better. All right, okay, maybe the packaging's a bit more fancy in the Phenom edition. But just take a look and compare. I mean, this version this year, WWE 2K15, you're getting four pre-order content. You're getting four of them. You get two versions of Sting, two versions of Hogan. In this pack, in WWE 2K14, you've got the American Badass, and you've got a version of the Warrior. That's only two. So you're getting more in this year. For me, the big piece is obviously the piece of history. The ring canvas. I don't think anything else can top that, and that is what smashes this one out the field for me, compared to last year with WWE 2K14. I like the fact that you get this piece of history. I think it's a real big deal. And if you're a collector, um, I think this is a lot more of a reason to want to collect this version as well. And this is just something to note, guys. We just saw a visual of John Cena and how good this game could look. And if it looks like that, and there's rumours and talk now that there's going to be a My Career mode in the game, which is something that we've all been asking for, this could very well be the WWE game. And when I say the WWE game, I mean this could be one of the best, if not the best, we've ever had. And if it is you will have that piece of history as well in your collection. Now, in comparison, WWE 2K14 was a good game, but we all know that it was almost, you know, a half job with THQ still in production there. This is full-on 2K Sports. This is the product that we've been waiting to see, and it is looking good at the moment. So guys, let me know via the comments box below, what do you think of the Hulkamania edition, brother? Do you want to get this one? Do you think it's better than last year? Or do you think that last year's was better than the Hulkamania edition? I want to get your views. Are you going to pre-order it? Let me know via the comments box below. As always, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for more WWE 2K15 news, rumors, and gossip because there's going to be loads now. There's going to be loads to talk about. IGN have got some more up their sleeve and that's coming out this week. So I'm going to keep you updated with every single element. So stay tuned, guys, and all that's left to be said, as per usual, is please rate, comment, and subscribe, brother. This is Delzinski, signing out.